How's it going, Rednecks? I bought another project vehicle. It's sitting right over there. Uh, let me go get it. You're going to want to check this thing out. That's a mighty fine driving. Come on. What we have here is a 1986 Oldsmobile Delta 98 with a uh, 3800 Series 1 engine. Before I tell you what we're going to do to it, what do you say we uh, get this thing cleaned up? It's, it's quite dirty. Inside and out. exterior all cleaned out and uh, unfortunately due to weather I am gonna have to uh, finish up what we're doing out here and pack everything up but uh, tomorrow we'll get to the interior so see you guys tomorrow well guys it has been a few days uh, the uh, weather has not been very great as you can see it is uh, still not that great the car is uh, still wet it's been raining for like the last three days, but uh, I'm going to take advantage of this little bit of a uh, gap we have between the rain and uh, try and get this thing cleaned out. So uh, let's get the vacuum cleaner fired up and get this thing clean. Same day, different shirt. It's getting a little hotter out, but uh, now that we got this interior all cleaned out, the uh, outside looking all fresh, I think it's time to reveal what we're going to be doing to this thing. But first, it's story time with Postal. So, back when I was about 15 years old, getting ready to get my license, you know, as I think I was in driver's training and everything, uh, looking for some cars and one day my dad went over grabbed my grandma's car and brought it home to work on it it was a 1989 delta 88 um royal and i seen that car it was dark blue with dark blue interior i'll, I'll never forget it i love the car it had about 68,000 miles on it and he was uh fixing it up because my grandma said she was going to get rid of it so i immediately i'm like oh this is going to be my car Unfortunately, my uh, older cousin um, ended up getting the car. She gave it to him to drive, and let's just say he did not take the greatest of care of it. 
I ended up with it ultimately. Uh, what happened is I was going to college at the time, so I was about 19 years old, and the car, my, my cousin lost his license, so my uncle called me up knowing I wanted the car. He uh, ended up giving it to me. Well, I drove the thing to college back and forth for about four months, and let's just put it this way, my cousin did that car no favors. The front was destroyed, he hit a deer, hit some other things, the interior was trashed, the engine was not running right, and the transmission was slipping. Not only slipping, I believe it was uh, slipping gears and not shifting right. So, I was in the Automec program, and the teacher pretty much said the cars, you know, how much it's going to cost and how how hard it's going to be to fix. And at the time, I didn't know enough about cars. I didn't have the experience. I didn't have the tools, and I didn't have the area to work on it. So, me and my buddies got the plan. Let's uh, axe the thing in a thirds before we scrap it out. I knew it was going to the scrapyard, and uh, ever since then, I wanted one. And uh, obviously, it's no Delta 88. This is the Delta 98, which is a step up, but. Uh, yeah, let's just say I bought my own. As for what we're going to be doing with this car, we are going to be doing absolutely nothing. This is a uh, parts car, and uh, you're probably wondering a parts car for what? Let me show you. That's right, that one is going to be a parts car for this one. I have to say, this one is clean. So you're probably wondering, what in the world does a nice car like this need from a junker like that over there? Well, the power antenna doesn't work. Passenger front window doesn't work. Although slow, come on buddy. It ain't gonna win no races, that's for sure. And the opera light doesn't work. As for the opera light, I'm not sure if it works. Um, I don't need the housing. All I need is the uh, strip. It's actually a long like piece of paper that is the bulb in there. And those are only three things that I'm aware of right now. I haven't uh, been driving this thing a whole lot. Me and my dad went to actually pick this thing up six hours away. So it was a 12 hour round trip. And uh... All right guys, we're on our way home right now. This was a six hour trip there and another six hour trip back. My dad took half a day off for work so he could go with me and get this car. It's Father's Day in two days. I have the freaking greatest dad in the world. I want to take this moment and just say uh, thanks dad. I appreciate everything you've done for me and uh, I'm lucky to have you. So. And to all you uh, fathers out there, happy Father's Day, and uh, hope the kids got you some good gifts and uh, they treat you well. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's hope this thing makes it home, but uh, I'm stoked. This is a, a nice car, man. I am uh, I'm very happy we went down to get it. So, onward we go.
that's the only drive time I got behind the wheel right now. Now some of the things I would also like from that car include the aftermarket CD player. I want to take this aftermarket radio, which has a CB radio for it. Now, the owner of this car told me that when you're playing music, the music will play through all the speakers, and then when anything comes through on the CB, the audio for that will come out through the front speaker. So you can continue listening to your radio while using your CB. So uh, that's pretty cool. And the uh, on-dash computer. And I'm not sure what this all does. I do know it has a calculator. So we can do the uh, famous two plus two equals. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be nice to have some spare parts. We have uh, stuff like, just as simple as these heater controls, you know, the vents, um, any exterior parts, suspension. I tested, um, both of them have onboard air uh, ride, air ride, so I tested it. This air pump in this one works. Um, I mean, there's just, it's gonna be nice to have uh, some parts, so. So there you go. I now have two 1986 Delta 98 Reagan Seas, and uh, this one right here, this one's not going to be left alone. I plan on doing exactly what I did to the Honda to this one. We are going to be doing about a three and a half inch lift. I want to do a moon visor, a uh, brush guard, a roof rack, some dual exhaust, and uh, some more things. So it's going to be nice to have a test subject over there to do all that to make sure it works and then plant it over on the good car. And uh, the reason I'm not doing it to that one is, as you can see, she's got quite a bit of rust. You walk around to the back, obviously you could change out the back bumper. Um, that door actually does not work. That door is crushed a little bit. You gotta pull it a little bit and uh, yeah. There's a little bit of rust going on with that one. So this will be a good parts car and a good test subject for that one. So I'm quite excited. I am uh, unfortunately gonna be selling the Honda. It has not sold yet as of right now, but it's gonna be going on the market shortly. And uh, I'm gonna start focusing on that. So pretty excited. Like, share, subscribe, and get back to work.